Thank you for joining us. We have completed our design and now we want to produce some manufacturing data. I need to change the colors of our power on ground nets back. Choose the color button from the toolbar, click on the nets tab and clear all nets. Click OK. Now we are going to prepare the board for manufacturing. I'm going to move the board in our design window. Click on the general edit button. Make sure the global visibility is on and you select all on in the find tab so everything is selected to move. Highlight the board and click on the move button. Click to place the board. Next we are going to change the origin. Zoom into the bottom of the board. Select setup and change origin from the menu. Right click and choose snap pick to segment vertex. I'm going to place the title block for the fab and assembly drawing next. Go to place and component manually. Under advanced settings select library. Choose format symbols from the pull down. I'm going to choose A size horizontal. Click to place the title block. Close out of the placement window. To edit any text in the title block, right click on the text and choose text edit. Zooming into the board, delete any text you do not want in the design. Select the text, right click and choose delete. To move text, click and drag. If you need to rotate, select the text, right click and choose spin. I'm going to change the size of my text from my reference designator. Select Edit Change Object from the menu. Change your text block to 2. Click on the reference designator text. If you need to add any reference designators to the design, select Add and Text from the menu. Set active subclass to reference designator and the text block to 2. Click on the component and click to place the text. Add the text. Right click and select done. Next I need to create a subdirectory for all the artwork exported. Go to setup and user preferences. Choose file management and output directory. Add this text in the first line. This will create a folder for the exported artwork. Next, we will do the drill information. Go to Manufacture and Customize Drill Table. Click on Validate. Click Auto Generate Symbols and Yes. Close the window. In the Design Workflow, select Drill Table. Leave the default and click OK to create the drill table. Click to place the drill table. Select Cross Section from the Design Workflow. Set the text block to 3. Click OK and click to place. I'm going to add some dimensions to the board. Go to Manufacture and choose Dimension Environment. Right click. Here you have many options to add and edit dimensions. I'm going to choose Linear. Click the points you want dimensioned and click to place the dimension. Right click and select Done when finished. Next I'm going to set up the films for our Gerber output. Choose the color button from the toolbar. I'm going to create the fabrication drawing first. We want to make sure only layers we need are selected, so click off for global visibility. From geometry, select design outline and dimension. In manufacturing, select NC legend 1 through 3 and cross section chart. And in the drawing format, select all. I'm going to close the window. Select artwork film record setup from the design workflow. Right click in the film window and select add. I'm going to name this film Fab. Click OK. We need to complete this process for all of our films. Let's do the same for the assembly drawing. Go back to Colors. Click off of NC Legend and Cross Section in the Manufacturing tab. In the Geometry tab, select Assembly Top. In Components, select RefDes under Assembly Top. And in Stack Up, select Pin in the top layer. Click OK to close the window. Select Artwork Setup. Right click and add the assembly drawing. 
I don't have any silk screen on the bottom of my board, so I'm going to skip to silk screen top, select global visibility off. From geometry, select design outline and silk screen top. Under components, select RefDes under silk screen top. Click OK. Select artwork setup. Right click to add silk screen top and change undefined line width to 0.127. For solder mask top, click off of the silk screen selections or turn global visibility off. Select solder mask top and design outline from geometry. From the stack up, select solder mask top. Click OK. Select artwork setup. Right click and add solder mask top and change the line width. For paste mask top, click off of the previous solder mask selection. Choose paste mask top from the geometry and stack up. Design outline should still be selected. Select artwork setup. Right click to add the paste mask top film and change the line width. For solder mask bottom, click off of the previous selection. Choose solder mask bottom in the stack up and solder mask bottom from the geometry. Make sure the design outline is still selected. Select artwork setup, right click and add the solder mask bottom film and change the line width. I don't have any paste mask bottom films, so my films are completed. I'm going to go back and change the line width for the fab and assembly drawings. You can right click and choose display for visibility on any of the films. This will show the selected film on the PCB window. You can also view these films in the visibility tab. Join us in the next tutorial where we will cover manufacturing exports.